Good morning, bitches. Chinga de so pinche madre. Oh, chill out, Ice Queen. Today is gonna be a good day. Um, how? Unpacking time. And I got to unpack my schmutt. <laughs> Shield your eyes, kids. No whistle. All right, Weiss, Blake, and Yang. Our main objective is to make this room badass as possible, so bonsai. Bonsai. Dios mio. How did it even get like that? We didn't even touch the fucking beds. Yang, did you do this? Sorry, the beds got in the Guys, way. Guys, quit tripping. I'm trying to think. Uh, we can make bunk beds. We can't just make bunk beds, dumbass. We need the material. We can improvise. Should we get the materials after school? No, I can pull it out of my ass. Don't worry, guys. I got an idea. Just perfect. <coughs> All right, main objective completed. So... School. All right, we're supposed to be at... Peter Port's school by what? 7. What? It's 8.45! Oops. Why did I spend my time fucking off with y'all? <laughs> he was trying to catch me slipping, so I pulled out my bunder plus and busted that full skull open. He was trying to get away, so I had to run him down like unknown P. He was lying dead on the ground, so I chopped his body up and threw it in the lake. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let's change the subject. Today's subject is Ryan and his bullshit. So think of this, you're sitting there for God know how long, and you try to think of something funny, but it ends up being terrible. So you scratch it and try to think of something else, but you're just sitting there a long time with your mind is blank as a mug, so you just give up and put anything. Like my waifu titties. Wink. <sighs> All right, another subject is how not to get caught lacking. So what it means is they'll pull up on you or test you to see if you're about that life and try to fight you or gangbang you. I wanna get gangbang. <laughs> I don't mean it in sexual term, you deuce. I mean they'll try to jump you or jack your chain. So you always have to be strapped or you'll be the idiot getting robbed. You wouldn't want that, would you? No, I remember the time that I almost got robbed by some clown butt naked wearing a thong. He was a dude, by the way. Snake it up behind me, try to hit for my nuts. He was trying to catch me lacking and jack my strap, but I grabbed his dick and cut it off. Then I stuffed it down his throat, then cut his balls off and made him eat it like a grape. Now he was trying to run, leaving a blood trail on the road then. May I have the attention of the class? Then I threw his last testicle on the road and he slipped on it, going head first on the pavement. It was a pretty nutty situation if you catch my shitty pun. So all I did was run away and never come back to that horrible crime scene ever again. The end. So if you're ever going to rob anybody, do it right. Because you don't want to be like that dude up there talking about wanting to be gangbanged and totally ignoring the fact that this girl has balanced her book and apple with a pencil, which is borderline impossible, but hey, fuck physics and gravity because it doesn't matter in Ruby Land. Now we're going to talk about how drugs Weiss make... Weiss Cube! Damn, what's up, Weiss Cube? I didn't even notice your ass. Oh, I almost forgot. Now the first person who puts on their combat outfit gets to fight this fucking thing. Well, I'm ready! Well, my word, call you Private First Class Dick Simmons, cause you changed Get it, wise. Cop that kill. Represent your hood team, Ruby. Ruby, I do not need all that noise in my ear. Oops, sorry. No, let's get this bag. Excellent performance there, Mishni, I must say. And the fight only lasts for 10 seconds. You did so great that you might get what you bargained for. Now all your shiznos can scram. Glass to miss. Daddy Port is finna hit up the club. Typical white bitch. Weiss, you good? You wrecked that shizna. Leave me alone, you fucking horrible excuse for a team leader. What's wrong now? Everything is wrong. I don't know why they picked your goofy ass to be the team leader when you don't know jack shit about combat or anything for that matter. 
Being a team leader doesn't matter to me. It's just a name you carry around. I only care about my teammates. Well, you matter to... Uh, I mean, um, um, just get the fuck out of my grill. Why? I know what the hell I said. Now get out of my face. Soap opera, huh? Thank God I don't have to deal with that no more. Do you think everything's gonna be okay with me and Weiss? Chill out, it's only been one day. <sighs> ah! Ruby. Oh my gosh! Hey there, Weiss, I was just... Do you need anything? Um, Weiss, are you all right? Don't piss me off! Some coffee would be nice. Hold up, G! Here! Thanks, Weiss. Ruby, you're one of the fewest people to actually care about me. I just want to say that I care for you, too. And I also care for Blake and Yang, too. And I just want to make sure that you are safe. And I would go as far as to say I love you. Now I'm gonna head out because I'm out of my comfort zone. <laughs> Unfortunately, this had to come to a tie because Mr. Ark spent the whole minute catching his breath uh, while on the battle. I mean, can you believe that? I was expecting you to be terrible, but not terrible and dumb at the same time. You need to proceed more caution, Mr. Ark, before you end up killing your own damn self. Plus, you need to make sure to check your aura at all times, because if you don't, you will die. I don't need your ass dying right here right now. I'm not gonna fill out no damn paperwork again. Miss me with that bullshit. So get your shit straight or die your choice. Yeah, daddy. Just a little reminder that the festival is in pissing distance. So you better make us look good or we're gonna kick your ass out of this school. And unfortunately, we can't do that. Otherwise, we'll get sued. So you asses are lucky. Anyway, Mr. Art, get your pathetic ass up. You're in the way. So I had a dream that I was a princess stuck in a castle. Then some uh, handsome, sexy men saved me. Uh, Nora, stop. Then I told them, what can I do to repay you? I'll do anything. He insisted that he didn't want anything in return, so I dropped in his pants and I started giving him sloppy toppy. That wasn't a dream. We were role playing. You were so drunk that you thought it was a dream. Yeah, okay, Senpai. Oh, yeah, I'm Gucci. Well, someone who reacts like that, they're not okay. So what's up? Guys, stop tripping. I'm Gucci. See? Clean. <laughs> so that puppy little bitch has been bullying you? Who, Gay Carden? He's only messing with me because I projected him. He likes you? He's been trying to get in my pants since the first time we met to play the clips. Look at me, Daddy. <laughs> Introducing these overpriced lockers to store your weapons in with a built-in rocket so you can have your weapon delivered to you when you don't have it on you. When we were alone, he showed me his wiener. That thing was like two inches. If there's a problem, Daddy, we can solve that real quick. Oh, here. I know! Let's smash his brains in! It doesn't matter. He's only mad at me because I rejected him. Just give it some time. He'll forget. 
I'ma put that son of a beast in a weird there. You shouldn't worry that much, Pira. It's necessary if he hits him or tries to rape him.